Hey guys, what's up? So the quest continues with the Kramer Beretta special. So last time we replaced the bridge with this one. This was from my Black Label Strat, and it pretty much fixed my tuning problems. But there's one more piece of this that could be causing tuning problems, and it's the tuners. So I've got some Geiger locking tuners here that we're going to install on this video today. So basically what was happening, if you haven't been watching this series from the beginning, um, I would use the tremolo, tune the guitar, and then if I bent a string, it would go out of tune, or vice versa. Stretch all the strings out, tune it, use the tremolo, it goes out of tune. That means that there's friction somewhere that's causing it to bind. So, first we replace the saddles with rollers. That didn't fix it. Then, we replaced the nut with a brass nut. That didn't fix it. Then, we replaced the entire bridge uh, and put the rolling saddles on that entire bridge and we lubricated all the holes down there where the strings come out. And that kind of solved the problem, sort of. It still kind of happens, but not nearly as bad as before. The only other point of contact that there could be is the tuners. So with locking tuners, it makes it a lot easier to string up. Even if it doesn't solve the tuning problems, it's a good upgrade for pretty much any guitar. It'll make your life easier just in general. So let's go ahead and get started on installing these tuners. Before we install it, I just want to show you one. So here it is. This is a professional Geiger tuning machine. So how do these things work? Well, just like regular tuners, with one major difference. You stick your string in the hole, and you turn this little wheel until it's tight against the string, and then you're done. And you tune it up. That's it. Pretty simple design. Um, it'll eliminate any tuning issues you might be having because of... Uh, the way that you're wrapping your strings or the way that you're using the luthiers not or not using it. Uh, in several guitar groups that I'm in, there's actually this big debate going on as we speak right now about the luthiers not and how you should be wrapping your strings. Um, and the best answers that I see on those are uh, easy. Just get locking tuners and don't worry about it. I am of that mind as well myself. Locking tuners are awesome. If I could, I'd put them on all of my guitars and maybe I will do that as time goes on here. Um, but for right now, we're just going to get them as needed. So here it is. This is the Geiger locking tuner. It feels weighty. It feels nice. It looks nice. Uh, it doesn't look super cheap. Uh, it doesn't look as good as like the ones that come on a music man or a PRS or something like that, but why would they? Uh, pretty much what you expect. So yeah, there you go. I got the gold one and I think it looks good against the body. That's why I picked gold. So uh, let's take the strings off and then let's head up north to the headstock and get this installed. So doing this is pretty simple. The first thing you're going to do, we're going to work on this one first. First thing you're going to do is you're just going to take a screwdriver and you're going to unscrew it. Okay. Once you've got it unscrewed, flip it around. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to undo this. I'm gonna try and find the right size here. Might be, yeah, it's this one. Until it falls out. It's literally that easy. There's the old one. And then what do you have left? You got this. Pull it out, there's a washer, and then there's the little bushing. There we go, it's out. If we compare the two tuners to each other, the one we're putting in and the one we took out, I will say the one on the left is substantially heavier. So there you go. These are pretty much the same tuners that will come in like a Bullet Squire, by the way. I mean, this is the cheapest guitar that Kramer sells. It's one of the cheapest guitars that Epiphone sells, slash Gibson by extension. Um, so that's kind of to be expected. I don't, I won't really say that these tuners were giving me an issue. I mean, we'll find out when we're done with this video. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to see if this fits, and it does. Great. Let's flip it around again. Okay. I'm going to stick it on there and make sure the screw hole lines up, and it does. This appears to be a drop-in replacement, which is awesome. Now, the order you do this varies depending on who you ask. Um, some say that you should put the bushing in first, some say that you should screw it in first. 
I am going to screw it in first. And the reason is you can kind of move it around with the bushing, right? But you can't really move it around with the screw. Screw hole needs to line up, doesn't it? So that's why we're doing it that, this way first. So grab your screwdriver, and screw it in. Then you flip it around. Grab your bushing and your washer. So the washer goes first. Then you put your bushing in there. I mean, this is literally a drop in replacement. This could not be easier. Finger tighten it. Okay, once you got it finger tight, grab your whatever you used to take the nut off before. In this case, I'm using this screwdriver that has this on the butt of it and tighten it. But don't tighten it too much because you don't want to crack the finish. And you want to tighten it so that it doesn't really move back and forth too much. I think that looks pretty cool. Brass nut, gold tuner, gold logo. Kind of looks like it belongs that way, doesn't it? Very, very cool. Give the uh, give it a quick little turn and make sure that we don't need to tighten. Because sometimes you need to tighten the actual like pegs right here. Um, but these appear to have come from the factory in good shape, so I don't need to do that. So that's how you install a locking tuner. All right, now I'm going to show you how to string it. So loosen your little wheel. You string your string through your bridge like you normally would. And then you take your string and you put it through. I'm using an old string as an example right now. Because I haven't installed the others yet. Pull it through. Okay, once you got it pulled through, tighten the, the wheel back up. Well, it's good and tight, and then turn it. Keep in mind that uh, windings don't matter with locking tuners. Pretty much at all. That's it. It's literally that simple, guys. <laughs> that's, <coughs> that's how you string it. I'll go ahead and show you one more. All right, they're all on, so I'm going to show you how to do another one. Again, pretty simple. Take the string, put it through the tuner. Nothing changes on the bottom. You still thread it through the way you normally would. Okay, grab it tight and tighten the wheel on the back till it catches. Okay, and you turn it. As you may have noticed, I went with Gold, silver, 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 gold. Because on my bridge, I did the same thing. I did gold screws for the outside bridge uh, screws and then silver on the inside. It looks kind of stupid, but I don't care. There we go. Now that string's in too. Wow. It looks really cool, I will say, even just aesthetically. So I'm gonna go ahead and string up the rest of this and uh, come back to you. All right, it's all strung up and tuned up. I haven't cut the strings off yet, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and just play a little bit and see if uh, it stays in tune with these new tuners. Oh yeah, they look cool. Let's see if it's still in tune after that. It still sounds pretty much in tune. See if it's still in tune after that. Still 
in tune. That's crazy. Let's try using the tremolo a little bit and see if that uh, does anything to the tuning. All right, we use the trem quite a bit there. sounds pretty much in tune. I mean, again, these are brand new strings, too. So that was like a quarter or a half of a song, right? We used everything. So is it still in tune? It's close enough that it's hard to tell. doing it guys this is crazy I mean it sounds great it sounds great feels great it's holding tuning really well like this is totally giggable totally giggable it stays in tune well enough to gig for sure <laughs> Thank you. 
Well guys, I think this might be the end of the line with this uh, modification series on the Kramer Beretta Special. Everything is going pretty much as well as I hoped it would. With the new tuners, the new roller saddles, the new bridge, and the new nut, this thing is crazy. It was crazy before, right? It was the value king, in my opinion, before we did any of this to it. But now that we've done all of this to it, which by the way, was incredibly cheap. The roller saddles were about $8.00. The nut was like $12, maybe it was $10, even if it was $12. That's $20 just in the nut and in the roller saddles. If you got a new bridge uh, and you wanted to get one the same quality as the one that I bought, that's like 10 bucks, literally, you just get the cheapest one, it'll do. Um, so now we're up to 30. And then the tuners, these wildly range in price. So you can go up to you know $200 on the tuners for locking tuners. You could also go as cheap as like $18. I wouldn't do that. I would try to cut it in the middle, but more in the first quarter of that range. So these Geiker ones, they're about 20 bucks. Uh, and I went with the gold ones. They cost a little bit more because they were gold, but they don't have to be gold. If you want to get these Geiker ones, which I very much recommend, they're very good quality. The wheels are easy to spin. They look really good. I mean, just look at the back. I mean, look at that. Looks really good. Um, I mean, at, the, at, the, at that point, with all of the total that we've talked about here, uh, we're talking about 50 bucks. 50 bucks in your Kramer Beretta Special, and uh, it'll play like a million bucks. It already pretty much played like a million bucks before, but if you're having that tuning issue that I was having, which not everybody has, but that I was having, and you want to do everything, 50 bucks. If you only want to do one thing, let's say you can only pick one thing to do of all the mods that we did in this series. I would say the bridge is the thing to do. The tuners, I didn't have tuning issues with mine, um, like conventionally speaking, where it wouldn't hold a tune. It would hold a tune just fine till I use the tremolo um, or vice versa. I use the tremolo and tune it and then I bend a string and it goes out of tune. Um, that wasn't really the tuner's fault. It was in fact the bridge. There were friction points on the bridge that were causing that to happen. So if you were to do one mod that we did in this series for yourself to address the same problem, I'd go with the bridge first. Uh, if you could leave one of the mods out, I would say either the brass nut or the roller saddles would be the thing to throw out, or both. The brass nut, really, to my ear, with the kind of music I'm playing with this, it's more aesthetic than anything. It doesn't sound much different, and we did extensively go over that in the sound test of the video about the brass nut. Um, it sounds a little bit mellower. It sounds like there's a little bit less volume, a little more room for attack uh, when you're playing with it but it's not a big enough difference to really be like a deal killer or something that I say you have to do. Um, it looks really cool and it's cheap. And so, you know, that's cool. So you could do that. The tuners make string changes take like two seconds. I mean, I strung this entire guitar up and I think less than five minutes using these, uh, these tuners. So that makes it a lot easier. So yeah, there you go. That's the Kramer Beretta special. The mods are completed. Thank you very much for going on this journey with me. I know that it's been several videos, um, but now here we are at the end. If I do any future modifications to this guitar, we will certainly uh, do them together on this channel. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please follow the Discord or join it. You'll see the link in the description below. We talk about guitar gear, etc. in there. I'd love to see you in there. It's very active. We talk in there pretty much every day. Um, yeah, it's really fun. So if you want to buy any of the parts we used in this series, you can find those parts linked in the description of the respective videos. This video in particular, I'll go ahead and just put all the parts in it. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time and keep on rocking.